Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Hope everybody had a decent day of trading. We'll get to the uh, earnings reports uh, in a second. If you are brand new to the channel, guys, welcome aboard. Thank you very much for joining us. We really appreciate your viewership taking uh, 10, 15 minutes out of your busy day uh, to kind of listen to my BS. And the most important thing, guys, hopefully everybody is healthy uh, and happy. So yesterday, if you watched the video, I said there was a shot that we could have a, a pretty lethargic stalemate type of day. And the reason why I said that was, number one, uh, everybody was watching uh, and waiting for Microsoft and Google. The question again, going into uh, today's reports were, well, kind of the same thing that we saw with Tesla and Netflix. You know, are these stocks uh, priced in, right? Are they priced in their moves so far uh, for this quarter based on their performance or are they going to stand on their own two feet? We got our answer uh, with one of those two names. We'll get to that in a second. The, the second part was, was everybody was waiting for the FOMC meeting for tomorrow. It's very understandable. Uh, it doesn't take a lot to realize that the FOMC is going to dictate a lot of what we are doing uh, on a day-to-day -day basis, especially for measured potential uh, trades. And I don't think a lot of traders really wanted to uh, stay in the way uh, ahead of this decision, both uh, the Microsoft Google earnings and the FOMC. So you didn't see a lot of range uh, throughout the day. Were there some things going on? Absolutely. You know, we'll get to the pivots in a second, but it was a lot of wait and sit and wait and watch and all that stuff. And, you know, I took a couple of balances today on NVIDIA, nothing really crazy. You know, it just, it was, just was such a boring day, just an absolute boring day. And then Google's earnings came out uh, and, you know, all of us in the webinar, we were here at four o'clock. We called Google pretty nicely. We'll get to that in a second. But the question is now, what happens tomorrow? And it's a very, very important part because yesterday, if you watched the video, we talked about that for me to get at least bullish, right? At least bullish from a more of a risk on point of view was if the Qs came back and reclaimed that 380 level, right? Remember that's 380 level in the five day? Well, they did that for a momentary move. Uh, it traded into the 60 minute supply. Again, we'll get to individual pivots in a second and they closed below. And the question was, well, that's not a good thing. Well, maybe one of these stocks, Microsoft or Google will help us. Well, we'll see, right? We'll see. As of right now, the Qs are reacting much more positively to the Google uh, earnings than so far on the Microsoft. Uh, Google right now after hours is uh, absolutely surging. We talked about uh, the call buying yesterday in Google. Stock is up really, really big, really, really big today. Uh, really great numbers. And the most important part, and this is why it's, Wall Street's so ironic, they, they, they were helped out by this quarter by cloud, right? By the cloud, uh, by the cloud space. Ironically, Microsoft, came out with earnings and well, they blamed uh, their slow quarter, right? They blamed their slow quarter on da, 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 on Azure, the cloud. So it's a very kind of tale of two cities, tale of two tapes. Uh, but so far, Microsoft is down about three bucks after the close. Uh, their conference call starts at uh, 5, uh, 30 Eastern time, I believe. Um, I, again, just like in Tesla, unfortunately, I didn't get the upside pivot in Tesla. But I'm going to watch, and again, I don't know what time you're going to be receiving this broadcast, but I'm going to watch the stock if it starts building above today's channel, 351, 352. If they, uh, if they start um, negating the initial response to earnings, because realistically, Microsoft did close above the five-day moving average. And depending what time you're watching this video, the stock could be at 360 or the stock could be at 340. We don't know. Right now, it is, what time is it now? Right now, it is uh, 4.58, right? It's 4.58 uh, Eastern time. So the stock is right now roughly, what, uh, 3.47, 3.48. So it's not there yet, but I, I will be watching uh, that 3.51, 3.52 level uh, after the conference call. Who knows? If they shake off this bad news 
Is it possible the stock could run? You know, very, very possible. Uh, other kind of notable names uh, after the close, you had Texas Instruments come out. Uh, again, not a great quarter, right? Not a great quarter. So, so far, uh, you had three out of four names uh, in the technology space not performing. Snapchat, I've said this now for a couple of years. Who the hell is still on Snapchat? Believe it or not, I think my, I think my son is. He always asks his friends what the hell a snap score is. Maybe one day somebody will explain to me what the hell a snap score is. But the point is, so far, uh, we are getting uh, some, you know, out of the five tech stocks that reported so far, I'm not really using uh, IBM in that barometer. You had Tesla miss, well, not miss, but uh, sell on earnings. You had Tesla, Netflix, Snap, Texas Instruments, and now you have Microsoft. But again, I am watching to see uh, if the stock can wake up uh, at a later point uh, of the evening to, to negate some of these, uh, to negate some of these uh, selling, early selling, and see if you, you see this pivot, guys. This is where I'm talking about this 351, 352. If it could get above this 351, 352, maybe it shoots up to 355, uh, 356 next supply, and ultimately 366 is the high uh, from the top of the range. Uh, tomorrow, right? The big one is going to be for tomorrow is going to be Meta. Uh, as you see here, uh, kind of some of the option flow going into Meta ahead of their numbers. You can see the weeklies. They're betting the 305s, the 310s, the 320s. Pretty good size here, 400,000, 500,000, 500. So you got 1.5 million roughly uh, in bets here ahead of uh, earnings. You got here a uh, September 325 bet uh, for the 600 grand. And you got, you know, you got a couple of, you know, you got a couple of orders here over 1.1 million for the 275, 280 puts. Again, we don't know. Uh, with the, how the market is going to respond to earnings. But as of right now, as you can imagine, uh, Meta is surging uh, with Google, right? It's surging with Google uh, after hours. You know, Obviously, I'm going to probably play uh, Meta tomorrow uh, as well. So here's the key metrics, what we need to see the bulls do, okay? Uh, the bulls tomorrow, if they're going to be strong, the Qs are going to need to reclaim today's highs which is 380.50. If they could get above 380.50, then yes, I do believe we're going to start really getting uh, aggressive back to the upside. Uh, having said that, right, there's a downside to that as well. So it's very, very important they start building above today's highs. So far, Google, Meta, uh, and a couple of other names are moving up here. So it'll be very, very interesting if they could drag uh, Microsoft with it. But hey, we don't know after the close, if they do have a good conference call, maybe we're waking up tomorrow and Microsoft is... A lot higher than what we were talking about this morning. Uh, tomorrow, outside of uh, Meta, you have, let's see here, you have, let me see the earnings for tomorrow. Outside of Meta, tomorrow you have Coke, AT&T, a lot of Dow components. You have eBay, Boeing in the morning. Um, I think that's about it. I think that's about it as far as earnings. And then Thursday, I uh, really don't have anybody. You have McDonald's, Intel. Intel is going to be important, but all the mainstay. Uh, big, uh, big um, uh, leaders are going to be uh, next week, Amazon, Apple, uh, so forth, uh, and so on. So uh, again, 30, uh, 380, 50, the bulls are going to need to reclaim uh, the, the, the five-day moving average tomorrow. And if that happens, we can start uh, moving back higher. So let's talk about uh, today's day. Uh, again, like I said, a uh, pretty slow, you know, pretty slow session, at least for me. It, it took, uh, it took me literally, uh, it took me literally till Google's earnings to, to start getting a day together, but let's talk about it, right? Again, not a big, not a big day today. Uh, 9.30 WW, uh, 9.30 needs to confirm yesterday's channel through the Bollinger Band. Here is WW, right? It took out the 9.30 stock, went all the way up uh, to 10 bucks. This thing is very, very close to confirming uh, the, the, the May 8th highs. If this thing starts confirming the May 8th highs, uh, this WW is going to wake up. A nice move, a really, really nice move there. Uh, Amazon, I was watching this thing for a short 128.35. It didn't quite get there. Uh, Netflix never confirmed the pre-market highs. I like this Disney, guys. If the if Disney doesn't rally in the next couple of days, when I say I like Disney, it's not to the, not to the upside. In case this market doesn't rally, right, in the next couple of days, keep an eye on Disney. Look look at this bear flag that's shaping up here. I'm not saying it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen tomorrow, but you know, if this Disney can't rally, the longer it can't rally and this bear flag starts to build, Let's watch the bottom of this channel here for the next couple of days. Who knows? Maybe they, they, they could get this thing through down. Uh, UPST was definitely the biggest mover of the day. Uh, 61.50 needs to be. They were coming for the repeat $65 weekly calls on UPST. And you can see UPST just went 
Yeah, it went nuts. It went absolutely nuts. Uh, here is the move on UPST. Just took out the 61.50. We didn't trade it all the way up to uh, 66. Just an absolute huge move on UPST. And this is later in the day. Uh, 380 uh, needs to confirm. And I said the first supply here is uh, 380. Uh, 380 40s that's the high of the day uh, and here is the earning pivots this is the one we caught uh this is the one we caught here uh this 127 uh on google and 127 gave us you know two and a half dollars really really quickly which is awesome which is absolutely awesome uh so you can see here it hit the 97 you see you see this 127 area right it hit 127 came back in a little bit once it got above the 27 just absolute great move and again, I'm still watching Microsoft. Um, again, that number for tonight, depending again, what time you are watching this broadcast, uh, I will be looking at this thing uh, above this 351, 352, uh, if, it, you know, if it has a, a positive response to uh, the conference call. That's it, guys. Have a great night, everybody. I wish everybody the best. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Uh, again, uh, the Bulls, for, they really, really need to get above that uh, three. Uh, 80 50 and reclaim the five day tomorrow on the queues and if that happens hopefully we'll get back to uh, bullish business guys have a great night everybody god bless i'll see you all